What is going on guys? Grave here today. I want to kind of make a quick video talking about some more of the rumors circulating around the new Battlefield game that's supposed to come out at the end of 2021 here in the fall. And that's going to be what we're going to call Battlefield 6. That's pretty much what it's been leaked as, but nobody is 100% sure if it's going to be Battlefield 6. I made a couple videos already in the past uh, month or so talking about you know, it being a uh, new Battlefield title uh, in a kind of modern setting. There has been some more information come out now. And some of this information, of course, has been from EA and DICE themselves. Uh, talking about that there could possibly be maybe a trailer uh, shown off in the spring. But also talking about who's really leading the team uh, for the game. A lot of us are used to DICE, of course, working on different Battlefield games. Of course, they have different, you know, divisions of DICE within EA, but this year it seems that Dice LA is really doing a lot of work on the game. And I don't know if you remember, but when Battlefield 4 came out, it was not exactly the uh, most bug free uh, game out there. It was pretty broken. And Dice LA was the team that ran the test servers for Battlefield 4. And Dice LA was the team that pretty much got Battlefield 4 back to where, you know, to, to the point to where it was. You know, it was a game that everybody remembers. Uh, as this probably some people's probably most favorite uh, Battlefield game ever, and the team at Dice LA was the team that did that. If it hadn't been for Dice LA, I'm not sure if that game would have ever really got out of the broken state that it was in. What's interesting is uh, Vince Zampilla, of course, is uh, one of the people that run Dice LA. Of course, the makers of Titanfall, and of course, uh, one of the uh, creators of the early on Call of Duty titles. Um, it's always been a great first-person shooter. Uh, creator I'm not quite sure exactly what his involvement is you know as you know the lead of the studio i'm not sure if a lot of the stuff goes through him or you know i, I don't think he's really in the day-to-day -day kind of making of games but I, i'm sure as, as a studio head he gets to, a lot of input of what they're doing and kind of gives his opinion or whatnot but the thing that i find uh, very interesting is that uh if you look at modern warfare last year uh, the a lot of the battlefield crowd came over and played modern warfare they liked it there was bigger maps uh, Warzone was interesting to some of them. Uh, you know, the, the big team modes were really interesting to a lot of people when it came to Modern Warfare. And I think if all of these rumors are true, um, you know, about it being a modern game again, about it being maybe trying to go to 128 players, and now that we know that DICE, and, and, um, or now that we know that EA has confirmed that DICE LA is the, one of the studios working on this game, and of course we all know that Vince Zampilla is the head of that uh, Dice LA, you know, part of, of, of EA or part of the, you know, kind of the team there. Uh, I think it gives a lot of hope for people that are just fans of Battlefield in general, fans of shooters, if you liked Modern Warfare, because a lot of those ideas that are in Modern Warfare uh, from, you know, last year were, were a lot of the ideas that you saw in early Call of Duty games that, you know, that he worked on. Also, uh, he's one of those people that uh, are really meticulous about how games work. And I know a lot of people didn't give a lot of love to Titanfall 1 or 2, but if you've ever played either one of them, you know what I'm talking about. Gun mechanics uh, and just the FPS mechanics are spot on. So I'm really hopeful uh, if he actually has a lot to do with the title, if everything is being kind of ran through him. This could be one of the better battlefields we've had in the last several years, and I think that would be a breath of fresh air to many Battlefield fans. Because as you guys know, I've always talked about it here on the channel. I've played all the COD titles ever made, played all the Battlefield titles ever made. And both of them at times are disappointing. And Battlefield over the last couple of years have been disappointing. Um, and I, I think a good, enjoyable Battlefield game again, that same experience that I had with, you know, games like Battlefield 3 and things that came out before that, the Bad Company games, uh, you know, kind of, you know, th that time frame. A lot of people had that feeling with Battlefield 4. They absolutely loved it. They played it for years, even after you know other Battlefield titles were out. If we can get back to that point with a new Battlefield game, uh, and like I said, with that team there at Dice LA running it, I think we could be in for a good you know, couple years. If they continue to make these Battlefield games as long as EA doesn't try to push things out too quickly, I think we could be in a, a really good place for having some really good Battlefield games over the next several years. And also, I, I think... DICE is probably sitting back, along with EA, looking at what Call of Duty did with Modern Warfare, with Warzone, with uh, the Battle Pass. And they probably have learned a lot from that. I mean, a lot of different games have Battle Pass systems. I I'm sure, uh, compared to what we had in Battlefield Five, I'm sure the system's probably going to change going forward with a new Battlefield game. And I do think that a, a Battle Royale-style thing in, in a Battlefield game could do well. It did not do that great in Battlefield Five. It wasn't handled that well, to be honest. While personally, I'm not a huge fan of Battle Royale, as you all know, 
I know a lot of people want that. And so if you have a really good base multiplayer game within Battlefield 6 or with the new Battlefield 6 title, you have a team that's dedicated to fixing the issues, you have a good battle pass system, you have a good uh, you know, battle royale system. I think that Battlefield could definitely be back on the map as one of the games that people really love, really enjoy. I think you get a lot of the fans you know, that come back to the game that have left over the last several years that really didn't care for them uh, for the past several titles. But anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about all this info. I, like I said, I'm really interested to see if he is really getting kind of the, uh, I guess, the final say on some of the stuff going into the game. If he, uh, he, I'm sure he has a great team over there at Dice LA. So uh, I'm really curious to see what the game's going to turn out to kind of be like when we get a trailer, when we get some info about it, that kind of thing. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.